as I'm refilming this intro because I forgot to turn the fan off uh, and it's not super, super hot. It's only about 80 degrees out here. What are we looking at? Well, you saw the thumbnail. This is that can concept, I'll say it y'all's way, concept accipiter. Um, I like it. It's first day in pocket. I do have a big issue with it, but we're going to talk about that when we turn it around and look at it from above. But first, I do have to do that YouTuber thing. This channel is self-sponsored. There's a bunch of affiliate links down below. Coffee Brand Coffee, Blade HQ, Amazon affiliate links. Anything you purchase with the Amazon affiliate links, doesn't matter what it is. I still get credit for it, even if it's not the item you clicked on. So please help support the channel. If you're going to purchase something, just use one of the affiliate links down below. The Coffee Brand Coffee is really good. So not to make this take any longer, let's turn this around, take a look at it from above. But first, turn down that volume because here comes the obligatory intro and music. This is that concept. I'll say it y'all's way. No, it's not. It's Cancept. This is that Cancept Accipiter. Um, I just can't do it. I got too much hillbilly in me. This is the Cancept Accipiter. Now, this is a pretty nice knife. I've enjoyed carrying it today with the exception of one thing about the knife. And I think you already can tell. So this is done in titanium and micarta. And the blade is in... S35VN. Now, this is a really nice blade shape. It's a very comfortable knife in hand. Has really clean lines. Now, I have a couple problems with it. The biggest and the, the let's just go ahead and get into it right now. This needs thumb studs. This is the most ridiculous thing. I hate front flippers only. It makes no sense to me. You're you're these need to go away. I, I'm with Jim Skelton. If I could get rid of one trend in the knife community, front flippers and top flippers, that would be it. Um, other than that, this is a pretty good knife so far. Pocket Clip is a little proud from what I've noticed, but let's just take a quick look around it. This is this is just the first day in carry. I haven't looked anything up on it. So you got a nice titanium handle, very attractive. The the uh, micarta has been done very well. It looks like green canvas micarta. And please, in the comment section, you don't have to drop any comments. I will be doing a full review of this knife and I will look up all of the specs. So yeah, titanium, you've got a partial backspacer, nice clean lines. The backspacer has got a lanyard hole in it. So, so far today, in and out of pocket, I got to get some other stuff out of pocket. Let's move that. I'll let you see it. I'm wearing a, a pair of jeans that my wife bought. She bought me some, uh, uh, some Calvin Klein jeans. And I was like, we've been married for 20 years now and you're buying me Calvin Klein jeans. That doesn't make sense. Pocket clip has been nice in and out of pocket so far. I was letting you hear it. Hang on. Let's not too tight, not too stiff. Um, I, I think that uh, we're gonna have problem with this in like 5.11s. Uh, I did it, I showed you guys in a video. Um, 5.11s have got a reinforced pocket with a little piece of canvas um, that, that reinforces the pocket for a knife. But the problem is a lot of times pocket clips catch on it real tight and that's pretty flat. I'm afraid that that may catch um, on thicker pants. I have not been wearing track pants at all today, so I don't know yet what it's like in track pants or shorts, but it feels as though the tension would be good enough. I don't think it would walk around. Um, there are no real hot spots that I've noticed so far, except the pocket clip a little bit. And, and I think it's because of the curvature of the handle and the, the pocket clip is kind of over and it has this point on it. I'm feeling the point. Now, it's not super hot, but I have not done any heavy duty cutting with it yet to know whether that's going to push into my hand and hurt. I can definitely feel it's there in, in hand. Um, <clears throat> so when I start doing some heavy cutting, we'll find out. I'm not a fan of the cutouts on the exterior of knives like this for the lock bar. And the reason is... Um, it has a tendency, especially when your pocket clips is this close to the edge, it pinches that material and it lets material bind up in there. And then it catches and it, it, sometimes it'll tear up your pockets if they're sharp. And sometimes it'll catch and it's difficult to pull out. Now, I have not had that problem yet. You heard me in and out of pocket. It doesn't feel like that's going to be a problem. My concern would be on thicker pants. If you, if you were wearing, like, like I said, a pair of 5.11s, I would be afraid that you would start running into a little bit of issues with the thickness. Um, the action on this is really good. It is nice and smooth. It's almost drop shut. I wish it had a thumb stud so I could show you snappy action because I always have a problem with top flippers. I don't like top flippers because of the position it puts me in, in my hand. So I'll, I'll do this again so you guys can understand. If I've got 
if I've got a regular flipper, I don't have to reposition my hand or anything like that. I can stay on that lock bar and I can just flip it. When I use a front flipper, I can't do that because I'm on that lock bar. I have to reposition my hand so I'm not putting tension there. And then I am, it just, I have to completely change my hand position and I'm basically, I feel like I don't have control of the knife. It just feels like it's going to fall out of my hand. I don't, I don't find that to be something I enjoy. However, the fact that it is a front, or a front flipper only does give it a very clean look. You could have gotten away with some thumb studs right where the Cancep logo, logo is, and it would have been fine. But it does give it a clean look. Um, the access to the lock bar is nice and clean and smooth. They did not do any jimping. I don't feel any hot spots, really. This feels as though it's been softened pretty well, a nice chamfer around it. It's a little rough here, but you're really not gonna stick your finger there, but it is fairly smooth. It feels like they knocked that burr edge off, that nice, that sharp spot. Um, does have a steel lock bar insert with uh, the detent ball set in it. And looking at it, it appears to be a ceramic detent ball, fairly large detent ball. Um, Jimping on it when it's open is pretty good on it. Like flipping it, it feels good. But the, one of the things is it feels almost like they, they dropped it down in. So the jimping is almost worthless. So when I say the jimping feels good, it's just about the right amount of jimping on like a flipper tab or an actuator, like that back, like a top flipper. But once it's down, it's, it's pretty flush across and you're really not getting any benefit from it there. The blade is done in a nice stone wash. It does have a very attractive look to it. It seems to cut pretty well. I've only done a little bit of cutting with it. I just cleaned it up before we uh, started because I had cut down some cardboard. The The stone wash finish on it looks really, really good. It's, it's an attractive finish on this blade. I'm a fan of a good stone wash and that's a nice, fine stone wash. Hardware looks really nice. You got some, some no issues with like sharp spots on the hardware um, or anything like that. It's a single point pocket clip, but it is nice and sturdy. It's only got one screw, but it is held in nice. I'd imagine if if we get around to it later, we can look at it. I bet that is set down in fairly deep. I bet it's pocketed out and it's sitting in a nice clean pocket, fairly deep. Uh, and it's just married up to where you really can't see it. So as far as issues with Cansep knives, I have never really had any problems with Cansep knives. I might not like all of the designs, but I just like this one, this is one I probably would not purchase because of the lack of thumb studs. Um, I'm thinking about reaching out to Cole over at Tri-State and see if he let me borrow a set because there's a couple knives that I have. A set of those, uh, the like the additional thumb studs, like you just screw them on. I think that that would give me a chance to give a couple of these knives a fair shake. Um, but so far, I mean, it's not a bad knife. I will say the good thing about it is you can slow roll it. So as opposed to some of the other um, top flippers that I don't like, the detent is not so stiff that you can't slow roll it. And that kind of saves it for me. Um, I, I, I got it out and I felt it and I was like, oh, it's a front flipper only. Um, and I did see that when I did an unboxing. I almost put this back in the box. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to bother doing a review. But I looked at the knife and I'm like, that's such a good looking, functional looking knife that I think we're going to go ahead and do a full review on it. So this isn't one of the ones you're going to see once and then never again. I like this little fluted out area, this hollowed out area. It's done its hollowed ground out. Focus, you can see it, nice little area. It don't. It gives it a nice facet and they didn't take it all the way up. So you have this little line. And so I know that it's not all about aesthetics when it comes to knives, but you can have a good functional knife and still have really good aesthetics. That consistent line around here, it looks really nice. And then they left it open on both ends. So I'm a fan of things like that, the symmetry, the way it looks. It's a good looking knife. It really is. And like I said, it so far it has cut pretty well. So that's all I've got on this right now. Like I said, it's just first day. I'm sure we'll be seeing it again. Man, the action on it is nice and smooth. It might not quite be drop shut, but it is really smooth. So there you go, guys. There's the Cansup Excipiter um, first day in carry. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of other videos this week with some other stuff. I've got some of my fixed blade custom knives that we're going to review and start look at and stuff like that. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. All around, it's a good knife. Just that one. Just so far today, the only thing I've noticed has been I don't I don't like front flippers. 
Um, it is give it a clean line though. I may see about getting some of those thumb studs that, that uh, Cole uses over at Tri-State and see if I can give it a fair shake, but this definitely needed a, a flicker aperture or some other way besides a front flipper, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. That's it on this one. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why I can't change that content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure that you turn on notifications on your device or you will not get notified of everything I put up every day. As if you want to support the channel financially, there's a handful of ways you can do it. I have a ton of affiliate links down below, like I mentioned before. That's basically how I sponsor the channel. Anything you purchase once you click on those affiliate links it gives me a little bit of credit it doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout but it does support the channel and on the amazon ones if you've got a bunch of stuff you know you're going to purchase stuff on amazon please just use my affiliate links because once you use that as a click through anything you purchase on that order i still get credit for it blade hq has a lot of deals and stuff like that as well um if you want to support the channel other ways I have a membership down below that is tier-based. Pick the tier that gets you what you want out of the memberships. But remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone uh, uh, gets access to my Gilded server, but if you're a premium tier member, you have access to a sharpening tutorial series. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I've set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. That coupon code is Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, all one word saves you 10% at checkout. If you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put it in a video. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video. Stick around and watch the people scrolling up because they definitely support the channel financially.